and welcome back to my channel. This is Arctic Char. It just happens to be that I'm a fly fisherman as well. So uh, I, every summer I go with my friends up in the north to Kirna in the north part of Sweden or Norway. We rest, stay in tents for a week and we fly fish. And we fly fish trout, Arctic Char and uh, all these kind of fishes. Here are actually some videos from that. Okay, so we're going to prepare the Arctic Char uh, in a special way. And uh, today I actually have some fresh potatoes. In Sweden this is a super delicacy, they're so much lighter, more water in it, and it's softer in the texture, everything. It's not like the hard, the, the ones that stays for the entire year. And I have to admit, this is not my own. Uh, we have potatoes growing in the garden and uh, here's some images from that. So the asparagus, uh, we want to boil them entirely. Yeah, it's too hard, so we need to peel it off a little bit. The potatoes, that's the first thing. You want to start with everything that takes the longest. 12 to 15 minutes. Clean them off a little bit. So we need to put them in this water that I preheated. We of course add a little bit of salt and let it boil for 12 to 15 minutes on a slow, slow heat. I'm gonna put some little bit of butter in here. And then we're gonna cut out, you go make a circle around. You take that paper, add a little bit of the salt in here as well, and then you cover it to get the butter in to the vegetables. And this is going to be what we're going to fill the fish's stomach with, quite small pieces. Get it in there, 50 grams in here, in chives, add some parcel as well, some salt, and we have a big fish to, to fill, so it could be actually quite a lot of salt, and some white pepper. Okay, Jack, so now you can mix this. Yeah. At the same time, we will take the asparagus that's been boiling for about seven, eight minutes. You want to keep that green, fresh color of the asparagus. So don't boil it too long. Very good, very good. Take the fish and we're going to salt it. Salt is going to go through the skin into the meat, so you want to have quite a lot of salt. Pepper, I only put it on the inside. A little bit of that. So you can take it and put it inside, okay? Like this. Okay, so we're gonna take this fish and we're gonna fry it. Perfect. Excellent. Good. Mm. 
we're frying the fish just to get it a little in the pan. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. So you can hold it like that. Here is also another fun thing that you can do for the plating. We want them to look like dangerous mushrooms in the forest around, but you don't go through. Just like a mushroom in the garden. Before, we're gonna add a little bit of the breadcrumbs on top of it. That's going to make the skin even more crust and you can eat the skin, it's so good. You can take some of the butter here that's coming out of the fish and get that on top as well. It's going to be a really nice layer here. Let's get it in the oven. Seven minutes, now the fish is perfect. Look at that fish. Amazing. Parsley on top as well. Fresh Arctic char. Here we go. This is one way to present it, but I wanted to make it uh, like in one dish as well, because I just think this is so fun to do. When you separate it, you kind of want to just lift it from the bone. And there will be no bones coming with it. See here? Put this one here. Now we see how the kids like it. So ring the clock and get the kids down. Okay? And this one, you want to try? Potatoes. Kolla potatoes. Vill du smaka? Mmm. Remember. When I'm fishing up in the north, this is a good reminder. Let's try this dish, it's amazing. And um, Osa, before anything, just try it. Mm. Are you good? So good, delicious. Delicious. Well, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And please share this video to friends and family. Love you guys very much. Uh, see you next week. Bye-bye. Flugswamp! Flugswamp! <laughs>